cotton wick. That's cooking. This is what I normally use for small batches. It's an old tin I had made a stove out of. Then I just went ahead and used it to do char cloth as well. Um, not big enough to do all of that at once because if you stuff it in there and too much of it touches once another, you might, or uh, touches one another, or it's too crammed in there, you may cook only so much of it and not get the other parts of it carbonized as well. So. I had this bigger tin that I've, I've had sitting around, so I made that one to do these bigger batches with. And some of this is going to a friend as well. So, first thing I like cotton wick. Uh, it's one of the best ones that I've found. I think it, it chars the best, and I think it lights the best. Um, I imagine it's just as good as any 100% cotton, but uh, I like to use it anyhow. So we'll get back to you when this is done. Go get the striker and try it. Actually, what I have here is a little tool I made out of 01 steel, out of some scrap left over from the crooked knives. And it's just a piece cut a little extra long. It's got a ch very, very sharp chisel grind put on it. It's been rough sanded with a hot, or actually a very low grit belt, in case you wanted to hone your edge a little bit. And the temper has been left in the uh, in the low to mid 60s. Not quite sure because we brought it out before the required time. But it's pretty hard, it's very sharp, and uh, it throws great sparks. And uh, just to make sure this is done, so we can't ignite a piece real quick. Now the camera will pick it up, but there we go. Hopefully it's so. Yep, successful char cloth. And neat little tool I, I made. Might throw a few more together. It definitely throws a uh, ferro rod sparks very well too. I made a little cheap sheath for it. Just draw it tight. And it stays right in place. Yep, char cloth. Pretty easy. I'm going to bag it up, divvy it up, and get some of this to my friend.